Mark the dump truck in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. You should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my god. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are just joining me for the first time today. My name is Lucy and today I played around with the brand new ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. This is a brand new palette for Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not only the palette itself but the whole design of the palette, the layout, the colours, everything is brand new to the ABH brand. So if you guys do want to see how I created this look using this brand new palette then please do make sure to stick around and continue to watch. Hey everyone, so I just want to start by apologising for being a little bit, <clears throat> massively, slack on my channel at the moment. I don't really have an excuse, I feel like I say this every single video, I just haven't really been in the mood to film and edit. Actually, that's a lie. I did film a foundation review for the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation and powders, and I was supposed to upload that last week, but the footage and the whole content and the video, I just did not like how it came out. So I ended up just deleting it and not bothering. Um, so I do apologize if you actually really wanted to see that video, but I am gonna incorporate that into today's video as well, because I'm gonna be using the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina volume volume one palette. I feel like I've just got to zoom back a little bit just to show you that I actually have a bun on my head because when I'm like this I look like a massive scraped back egg but you know I was just having one of those days today where my hair just needed to be off my face so um this is what we're dealing with okay so this here is the anastasia beverly hills norvina volume one palette as i'm filming this they've actually just announced that volume two is coming out very very soon so i feel like it's going to be pretty repetitive that i'm going to do this one and then really soon i'm going to be reviewing the second one as well okay so everything about this palette is brand new to Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have never ever done a palette this big. They've also never done sort of the metallic, um, I don't really know what material this is. I wanna say like tin, but that's completely incorrect. So when you open it up, first things first, there's me. But we've got loads and loads of color, which is such a blessing to me because I absolutely love color. So there is 25 shades in this palette. Most of them are colorful, but we do have a couple. No, we've actually got three neutral shades in there but that's kind of right up my alley so I'm not really too complaining about that. I also like the way that Norvina has laid out the palette so it's easy for beginners and easy for tutorials. She's done it so that the first row is A, B, C, D, E and it goes down that way and then along is the numbers so you've got like A1, A4, you know it's very very easy to read and she said she did this I believe so it makes it easier in like tutorials rather than thinking of the shade name you can just be like oh it's the first row so it's A and then it's the fourth one along so it's A4 kind of thing. It also has this huge mirror up the top here which is going to be really super handy if you are ever traveling with this palette. Obviously it is a little bit on the bigger side to travel but if you're someone who loves color for an everyday kind of wear you know if you're feeling a little bit bolder this is the perfect palette to travel with. I'm just gonna Google search um, some information about the palette because I feel like I remember her saying that it was only exclusive to online. So I am just gonna double, double check that. Can't find it anywhere online, but I feel like I do remember seeing that it was exclusive somewhere. It could have been exclusive in store or online, but I can't remember. So I will pop it on the screen if I remember or if I find out. Anyway, I'm very, very excited to dig right into this palette and see what I can create with it. So let's just go. So of course I'm going to start this look today with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. It is only fair that if I'm testing an Anastasia palette I should really use their primer with it as well. So I'm just going to take a little dollop of that on the back of my hand and just apply that to my lids. So as I'm filming this right now I actually just well, we're almost done, but I just got done yesterday with my beauty room slash home studio that I've been doing up for the last however many weeks now. Um, so I just really wanted to know whether you'd wanna see like a beauty room tour. Um, it's not all of my makeup in this room. It's more so my client room and where I'm filming, but some of my makeup still lives in my bedroom. But anyway, if you guys would like to see a beauty room slash 
makeup collection tour then I guess I can do that for you if you're interested I don't know I feel like it's quite an outdated video now I feel like people used to do this back in like 2015 but yeah please do let me know if you want to see that because that would be quite a cool thing to film I guess so I'm actually going to start with the shade d5 which is the black shade in the palette whoa there is a lot of pigment in that black a lot of fallout just came off of that even just from tapping lightly i'm just going to start by taking that right in the crease there just to add some definition to the beginning of this look then i'm actually going to go in with the shade a3 which is the third one along the top row obviously because a3 and i'm just picking it up on my favorite m506 brush by morphe i find that these are literally the best blending brush if i'm ever going to recommend a blending brush to you it will be this because i feel like i go through so many of these i just need an unlimited supply of them just taking that purple shade to blend out that black ever so slightly so so far is looking so good with these shadows i mean they've got a lot of pigmentation they seem to be blending into each other really nicely i don't really know why but i feel like every time recently that i've used the anastasia eye base my eyelids look really super dry and they've never really done this before with this base like before now but it's not really making much of a difference to the quality of the shadows so far so that's good so i'm actually really intrigued by this shade down here which is e4 it's like a really neon orange pink kind of shade i know it's definitely not showing up on camera the way it looks to the eye but it's a really beautiful shade so i'm going to pick that up on a jaclyn hill jh38 brush and just take that on top of the purple Then I'm taking a tiny little JH39 brush and I'm actually gonna pick up the yellow, which is the shade D1 down here. And I'm just gonna go very lightly on top of the orange. Okay, so now I've got a nice little blend going on here. I wasn't expecting to come out with a sunset color today, but here we are with a nice sunset on my eyes. Now I'm just taking my micellar water by Garnier with a Q-tip, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the shape of my cut crease before I go in with a concealer. Now I'm gonna go back in with that same ABH eye primer I started with on a Anastasia Beverly Hills A4 brush and go ahead and cut a half a cut crease. Now I've got the cut crease in the shape and the place that I want it to go. I'm just going to start by blending out that outer corner. So I'm actually going to start by taking the shade B4, which is a darker sort of purple. And then we're going to go on the outside of that shade with D5, which was the black shade. Anyway, I'm starting with purple. Then I'm going to blend black on the very outer. Now I'm going to go ahead and take D2, which is a sparkly sort of purpley blue shade. And I'm going to pack that onto my outer corner again using the smudge brush by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. Sometimes go north side, try to take in what I heard. And mama still gotta go work, papa still waking at six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take C2, which is this sparkly yellow shade right here, and taking that with the Beauty Bay multitasker brush and pack that over the majority of my lid. If nobody said it, you're losing, they won't be the one. And right in the middle of that blue and that yellow, just to blend them together a little bit more, I'm going to take the shade C3, which is a gorgeous, sparkly, mauve kind of shade, and I'm picking it up on the A14 by Anastasia. So at the same time I got sent this palette, I actually also got sent a collection of some coral liquid lipsticks. Now Norvina is very known for wearing her bright pink, orange, red kind of lips. She absolutely loves these kind of shades. So she brought out four different shades of these on camera and to be fair in person, they actually look incredibly similar to one another. There's not really a lot of difference between them. Some of them are slightly more pink and some of them are slightly more orange, but they're all very, very similar. But 
anyway, I'm gonna take the shade Spicy today, which is a coral orange red kind of shade. And I'm actually gonna use that as an eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go right along my lid and join it up to the outer corner. I'm now just gonna take the Anastasia liquid liner, the black one. I don't think they've got any other colors of it, so I don't really know why I said black, but the liquid liner, I'm just gonna do a really thin line around the edges of that liquid lipstick I just put down. Okay, so I just finished up my upper eye and I just popped a pair of lashes on as well. These are the Tatty Lashes TL1s. I've been really loving these lashes at the moment and just Tatty Lashes in general. So normally with these kind of eye tutorials, I won't bother doing my face on camera, but because I didn't manage to upload the ABH foundation review, I'm just gonna use the foundation and powder today for you as well. So you can kind of see how it looks on the skin when I first apply it. So I'm starting with my primer today. This is the Illamasqua Hydro Travail primer and I only got this a few days ago but it's really nice consistency it's kind of like the NYX jelly primer in the sense that it comes in one of these tubs and it's like jelly and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation in the shade 200W this is the lightest one that they sent me they sent me five different shades but they are all sort of catered to when I've got my fake tanned darker sort of skin on but at the moment I'm quite pale so I'm gonna go in with this one for concealer i'm taking the sleek makeup life proof concealer in the shade 03 just underneath my eyes and wherever i normally would put it and the powder that i'm going to use today is the loose setting powder by abh this is the shade of vanilla and I do find that this can sometimes come off quite dry when you first put it on your skin. I've had some times where I've used it and it's been absolutely fine, it looks really nice. And then other times I'll put it on and it will just cling to all of the dryness underneath my eyes. So I feel like you've just gotta be quite careful with the amount that you actually use. I'm just picking it up on a highlighter brush, which is the Morphe M510, because I feel like this shape actually goes really nicely underneath my eye. And I'm just gonna kind of set my lines underneath there. I'm just gonna zoom you in so you can kind of get a proper look at the skin. Just for reference, I have a normal to oily skin. I can sometimes get quite dry during the winter months, but at the moment I've found that I've got a little bit oilier. So I would say I'm pretty combination to be honest. But yeah, the foundation looks really, really flawless, really nice. I like the fact that it's still not covering up my freckles. You can kind of see a little bit of my freckles showing through underneath, which means it's not super duper full coverage, but I feel like it would definitely be buildable if you were looking for a higher coverage kind of foundation. Now I'm just taking my favorite Morphe 8L highlight and contour palette and I'm just gonna add some warmth to my cheeks because I'm looking a little bit pale at the moment. I'm honestly not massive on like bronzing and contouring. I'm not really someone who goes out of my way to contour my face. I just literally like to put it around the perimeters to give me a little bit of color. For blush, I'm taking the ABH Blush Trio in the shade Peachy Love and I'm just taking that with a Zoeva 111 face finish brush. And for my highlighters today, I'm taking the ABH Aurora Glow Kit with the shades Luna and Eclipse. This is literally like a full face of ABH. I feel like I should have literally tried to do a full face. I think the only things they don't have is lashes and concealer, but they've got everything else. So I'm just bringing you back in to finish up the under eyes before I go ahead and do my lips. So I'm just starting by taking a black waterline pencil just to go on my waterline and my tight line before I go in with the shadow. Now I'm starting by taking a tiny little A3, not even A3, it's just the number three brush by ABH and I'm taking the shade D5, which was the black shade. I'm really just rubbing that really close to my lower lash line. Now I'm taking a Morphe M213 a tiny little smudge brush and I'm just gonna pick up the shade B4 and go underneath that black. Now I'm taking the JH39 brush again by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and picking up that same yellow shade I used earlier, which was D1. For lips, I'm just gonna use a Peggy Sage lip crayon that I have in my drawer. I don't actually know what the shade of it is. I think the shade is Corail, C-O-R-A-I-L. But anyway, I'm gonna line my lips with this and then I'm gonna use the red coral liquid lipstick from the same collection that I mentioned earlier. 
on top. Okay, you guys, and this is my finished look using the brand new ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette and also their new Coral Liquid Lipsticks. Just to clarify, I did end up going over the top of Red Coral with the shade Spicy, which is actually the one I have on my eyeliner as well, because I feel like the orange tones actually suited the look a little bit better than the pinks did, but I really like this shade of lip and it definitely makes my teeth look nice and white, which is always a plus. The liquid lips actually feel very, very soft and not drying on my lips at the moment anyway. I have only had them on obviously about 10 minutes, so it's hard to kind of gauge how they would feel if you were wearing them for a long period of time. But they do feel very, very comfortable. They're not sticky at all. They don't feel like I'm particularly restricted to my mouth movements or anything like that. They feel very, very comfortable to wear, which is good. So my thoughts on the ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. I absolutely love this palette. First of all, I feel so, I feel almost like a proud mum that ABH have stepped out of their comfort zones with their palettes. I absolutely love the design of this palette. I think it's absolutely stunning and the size of it and all the colours and everything is just so brand new and really innovative for ABH. I didn't ever see them sort of going down a route like this but I'm so glad they have. All of the shadows work absolutely beautifully and they blended together like a dream. I will do a close-up in a second but these eyeshadows have literally made the perfect sunset blend. It looks so good and I'm so, so pleased with how this entire look has turned out. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy them, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the description. Please also let me know if there's any other video ideas you have that you'd like me to film. And also subscribe to my channel if you have not already because I'm really gonna try to get back onto my YouTube game and get uploading every week for you. So please do make sure you're subscribed. You can also go and follow me over on my Instagram, which is at LSG Makeup. I'll leave it on the screen here. I would love to see you guys over on there if you wanna show me some love there as well. But other than that, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.